Hey what's up guys, Psycho Petro here. So today we're gonna be making pretty much any photo translucent. We're gonna start with this one, and it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna go to this one, and it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna go to this one, it's gonna look like this. And then we're gonna go to this one, and it's gonna look like this. Don't be scared, the fact that this is not Photoshop. If you're a Photoshop user, it's pretty easy to translate over. So yeah, it's, it's very, very similar. Actually, Affinity Photo is, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. It's coming to Windows, I think, at the moment, and it's mo it's out for Mac right now. It's 50 bucks, and it's a lot better than Affinity than Adobe subscription it's crap. And no, I'm not sponsored. I swear, I'm not sponsored. For this tutorial, by the way, I expect you to know Pen Tool basics. If you don't look at the description to learn them, I'm gonna link. A uh, nice little tutorial down there for you. And let's get started. So, we're gonna take this um, quick selection brush. We're gonna select the happy face thing. But, so, actually, by the way, if you accidentally like go out like that, hold down Alt Option and then click right out there, and then you don't have to start all over. So, after that, hit Command J and then command D and then come over here, unlock it if it's locked, delete it, and then well I got a translucent background. Another way we can do this is um let me just put everything back. Um we can select everything outside of the, of it and then we can just hit delete and it's translucent. So that's this that's the basic way. Another way is to um simply just erase it. So um, we just get the erase tool and then we just go up to the edge and turn down the hardness quite a bit I guess um, so you can it's more forgiving that way <laughs> you can make more mistakes and it'll still look okay so it kind of dipped in but if you zoom out it's not really gonna be a big difference but I'm gonna do that anyways so I'm gonna speed up this part and uh, Notice how many time I, how many times I'm probably going to use command Z. Okay, we are done. Um I definitely I think I went way too soft with the hardness, but whatever. So, now I'm just pretty much just going to erase everything else. So, let's speed this up. And it is now translucent, so yay! Next one, a little bit more complicated. Um, so some, I mean, this one you can typically just like do the erasing thing again, but it's kind of hard, and there's gonna be a lot of mistakes, and it's like such a straight edge, and it's just like really tedious. So a better way to do it, just to get it done, you could even do this for that, but um, I just, I'm just showing different ways you can do this. You can make your own decision. So basically, I will just take the pen tool and uh, I'm going to go a little bit inside right there, just like the tiniest bit and um, yeah, I'm just going to go around this entire monitor, so speed up. So basically we have this whole thing all penned outlined, I guess. So basically we come and, select and click selection and then we hit command J and then unlock that and delete it. Delete it. It's not deleting. Thank you. And deselect. And there we go. That's so far translucent but if we want to do the screen now I'm just gonna go back at the pen tool and we'll start that and we're just basically gonna do the same thing so speed up okay after that's done we're gonna hit selection again and then we're gonna take a brush and make it big and we're just gonna paint that out and we change the screen I'm just showing this because um, I guess it's kind of Cool, I guess if, if in case you want a computer screen or whatever <laughs> I don't know but I did use it in one of my thumbnail this 
I did use it and it looks pretty good. Oh, and by the way, speaking of thumbnails, if you guys want want to know how to make thumbnails as well, leave, use the use the poll up on the top right. Click the I and vote yes or no. Um, if you like to thumbnails like these or other thumbnails you see on my channel, um, just let me know and I will consider doing that, especially if you get lots of votes. So yeah. Anyways, on to the one a lot of people might be here for. So we're gonna go and turn this guy into a transparent image. So first what we gotta do, we're just gonna take the quick selection tool and we're just gonna make a rough selection here. It's not gonna be exact, it's just gonna be kind of... Just like a start, I guess. We're gonna, we're gonna refine it and everything. So, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, try not to get too much of the background, but try to get as much of your subject as possible. Um, there's too much background right here, so I'm just gonna take that out. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just run my mouse around it. Take a little bit more, more right there. Uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, that would actually, that would, that probably won't look good. Anything within the selection is going to be in the final image, so. So yeah, after we make the rough selection, just hit refine. I'm just going to drag this up here. And, um, yeah, let's see. You probably want to take more of that out, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. This is just for tutorial purposes. I'm not actually going to use it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, well, basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go all around it, and you can touch it a little bit. I'm um, just trying not to do it a whole lot. And get all the little strands of hair. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm restarting that because I did mess up. By the way, you don't have to try and do it all in one go like I did. You can just stop it and start, I guess. So yeah, we made... Looks like a pretty good selection so far, but when you change it to black and white over here, you can see some weird, unnecessary shit. So to fix that, you hold down alt option and just like kind of go around that try not to get too many strands and um don't worry about the sharp edge you'll see what that's gonna be like in a minute and see so yeah it, it just fixes it all right i have no idea why it's not working over there right there but it still looks pretty acceptable. So yeah, that's a pretty good selection actually. So okay, and we're good. So I'm just gonna hit apply. And then I'm gonna click this. And I recommend you do this. So in case you want to edit it further, you can do that. You can go over here, do a secondary click. And you can go and refine mask and then you'll be back in the editing process. So, okay, so we're done here, but if you want to, like I said before, if you want to see the thumbnail tutorial, please use the poll on the top right. It's that little I button, click it and then vote yes or no. Um, and if it's not there, read the description for an explanation as to why it's not there. Also, if you want to check out my other stuff, here's a little preview. Well. I'd rather go down fighting. There's a spider on me. Yeah. I don't have to act all shocked and shit. Oh my god. The maintenance man. Why not the sardine man? We don't have a sardine man. So why not? Because sardines don't go with ice cream. Logic. Yeah. Hope you learned a lot. Ask questions in the comments below. If you see questions being asked over and over again, please check the description because that's how I answer those types of questions that just keep on getting asked so many times. So yeah, um, I hope you have a good day. Hello.